what it really means to live like golden Yeah, we're golden, baby, yeah, we're golden They're about to see it shine, cause we're golden They can't ever break us down, cause we're golden They're about to see us glow, cause we're golden I'm in the Fiesta. No, I'm not start installing a start stop button in the Fiesta. No, but I am installing it in my Toyota. But I'm in the Fiesta because the footage from the Toyota of my intro deleted. So that's why. Anyway, hello, welcome back to a new video. And let's get on with the mod today. So here's the start stop button. It does feel a bit cheap. I'm probably going to replace the button in the future. But you know. We're going to sort that out in the future. This is going to be temporarily. So, I will be showing you how to do this. I might even show you how to hotwire a car. Um, obviously, if just don't watch it. So if you're a robber or rob cars, just, just don't. Anyway, you've got to choose where you want to put it. I don't know. Do I have it on the dash? I can press start, stop. Here, I don't know. But that's not going to be my main concern yet. You do want to choose the plates, but um, I'm more worried about getting it working for... So here's a little box. So we're going to take the little twist tie off. So there we go. The red and black for the power. And then the two blue is for the uh, relay. So basically, when the button is pressed, these two connect together in the little box and start your car. And it's as easy as that. I did want to installed it so i did have to put a key in the ignition but the only problem with that is what happens if i do do that i will still need the original key you have to go near here because i sense the things here so it knows here and say if i did it do that and just press the start button would the car like keep starting and not stop and i do remember this does not stop the car so i can't do that but anyway we're going to undo these bolts now there's no bolts, no screws. There's two there. And then I think there's probably, I don't know. I don't know, but I know there's two there. So I'm going to unscrew them. Then I'm going to be back because, you know, I'm just going to do that. And then right, I'll be I undid back. it very easily. There was uh, two screws there. There's another one underneath. And I'm looking at this and I'm hoping I can even do this because I don't exactly know what I'm... Pro well, I do sort of know what I'm doing, but, you know... Right, I'm going to have to figure a couple of things out now. What is the power? What is the starter? Usually there's two browns to start the car. I don't know what them browns are. I'm going to probably figure it out. Then I'm going to be back and show you how to do it. If I can do it. I'm pretty sure I can. I'm going to do that and then I'll right, be guys, back. We've only gone and done it. This was easy. I thought it was going to be a lot harder. But I looked at a video for something. And it's quite easy. So I figured out, I think, what one's the start of ones. And what one's all that. So let's unplug the clip. So let's hear the small little clip. It is a pain to pull out. Especially. There we go. So, what one goes to what? You see this red one here. Well, the red wire goes to this red one. And the black one goes to this black wire here. And I've just put them in like that because it's going to still clip in here. And it will all be good. And it only goes red when you press the button. So, you've got power now. Easy. But what about these? What do you do with these? Well, you wire these up to the starter mode. Not start mode. Don't listen to me. You wire these up to the starter wire. And mine are the yellow and blue or white and blue. Two white and blue. They are the starter ones. So, um, yeah, I'm not actually going to show you how to hot wire a car. Because just, yeah, I'm just not gonna. But um, you might be able to figure it out. If you know how this works, then you do. Um, but I'm not gonna tell you. Anyway, so now I put the blue wires on these two. And let's hope we've got a starter kit. And let's hope my car will start up. Um, yeah, so we are gonna wire these in now. I'm just gonna strip them. And put them in here. And then I'll be back when I've done that. Because it's as easy as any. Done it now. So as you can see they're in like that. Make sure they don't touch mine or not. I know they look like they might. But um. Let me just sort that out. And now you just clip it in through here. So I'm just going to clip that in now. See if that comes out and touch. That is not good. You've got to make sure these don't. 
So put it like that maybe and be careful. And now, hopefully, if I can push it in easily. Oh my God, it's being a proper pain. So that's working, no. Right, I'm gonna push this in off camera because I'm gonna need two hands. Right, after I do that, let's hope it will work. I don't wanna try it yet, because I have a solar panel on. Just open my bonnet, let's go and open it. Put the old, uh, no, unplug the solar panel. Um, I'm just gonna unplug it like that. Don't want them to, there we go. And now, I'm gonna shut it to and go and try it. Will my car start with a start button now? Let's turn it on, ready? And no. Okay, my car is not starting. Why is that? Right, I'm gonna figure out why is it starting then. Right, guys, I've only gone and figured out what ones are the start of wire. Now you might say, how did you do that? Well, I figured it out. I was using the wrong um, black wire. So these two here are the start ones. <laughs> Found that out by the wires accidentally tucked. And my car did this. Wait, right if I can try and do it now my car started going like wait i'm trying to find something wait tell you what i'm gonna go and find something in my toolbox now my car's a bit messy but um yeah i'm gonna use one of these to demonstrate what happened so the two wires accidentally touched and that happened as you can hear my car is starting up so yeah so we found out the starter wires and that's all good so we know the blue ones go to there and now we have to use any one. I'm going to use these two for power. And then we have a start button. So I'm going to do that. Wire it in. Then show you. And then hopefully my car will start. So we're going to do that. Okay. And I'll be back. The car is now starting out with a start button. And I could not be more happier. So let me just walk you through it. The red wire is going to this one. The blue wire is going to this one. Uh, no, going to, yeah. It's yellow and black. And this black one. Now they're not touching because this yellow one's on the top here and this um, blue one is on the bottom in that little slot there. And it wasn't working and I've just found a decent ground. I'm gonna ground it to that in a minute. But um, I'm gonna just quickly wrap that around there so then I can show you the car starting up with a start I've only button. put it out the back temporarily. Now, we're right, we're gonna turn the key. We have ignition light. I'm gonna press the button and... Ah, oh, this is brilliant. Don't. Listen, I did this earlier. Do not press it when it starts because it's right there. Yeah, it's over starting the car. Do not do that. Um, but it works. And pretty well. But I do want to see what would happen if you press it. And there's no... Um, what is it called? And there's no... Brand has dead. What is it called? And there's no... Um, uh, starter... What is it called? Programming... Um, fob thing. What is it called? The little black thing in here to make sure you can't start up. I do want to see, um, but do I do that or do I not? Um, I mean, we can try it, but don't know. I'm sure it's going to be fine. We'll give it a try. Right, I'm going to take apart the key fob, take the little black thing out, and then we're going to see what happens. Because I really want to see what the hell will happen. And if it does work, absolutely fine. That means we could technically wire it up without a key but um i'm only gonna try that temporarily so i'm gonna do that then i'll be back right guys i took apart my key and yes as you can see it has been quite destroyed but you might say why because it's rounded off i can replace these backs really easily they're cheap like i think they're 50p to a quid but um i needed to get the screw out that's the most important thing so if i can do that it doesn't matter about the back now we're still putting the key in because um I haven't wired it up to anything else, so we're going to try and start it, and it won't be able to start, but I'm hoping, if we put this near here, I'm just going to leave it like that, if you can see it, and then press it, hopefully, she started up. So what does that mean? Well, that means we can start the car without having um, the power wires here, but now, just because... I want to. I'm going to be wiring these red and black wires into the fuse in here. And we're going to see. Is it going to work? Hopefully. So we're going to do that. Well, I'm going to do that and be back because it's just a little extra. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to do it off camera and then we're going to see if it right, works. Right, guys, I found out something there. I wired it to the one at the fuse at the back. I found out 
it still wait is that clip no but that was like now no it still won't work until the thing's on and you can press it and it will start but i'm gonna keep it to this one because i do prefer the one that i've wired it to that so feels a lot more easier than this one here it's got a bit more um well it's not safe it well well i just prefer to do it to that one so i am uh, i'm gonna quickly put the blue wires through here tidy it up a little bit then i'm gonna stick the box away and then we're gonna put the start button we're gonna drill into my dash so that's a little bit scary because yeah i don't want to massive harm my dad you never know i could maybe put it here um but I, I don't know um i could but don't feel convenient when i get in i don't know maybe i don't know press it there to start now all right guys i think we're gonna send it and i've chosen to put the start button here got my drill and i'm gonna drill a hole here so i'm gonna drill the hole and file it out with the file out so i'm gonna do that then be back because i can't drill and video so i'm gonna do that then let's hope it will come up perfectly it's all installed and when i turn the ignition on press the button and she starts easily just like that started absolutely easily and if you notice i hold the button down too long it's usually the best to hold it down for five seconds and then it starts up absolutely perfect and she started out now and it works you can't stop the car with it and definitely don't press it when the car is starting you should never do it because it's just, your car starts screaming at you it hates it so don't do that at all but yeah it's nice we've got the steering wheel now got the start stop button got the gear knob got the touch screen um why is my brain good dead touch screen um stereo the car's coming along really really nicely generally i am so happy with this car and for a car that was pretty basic before i'll try and find a photo and put it up of what it looked like fully standard there we go you saw it when it looked before and now it's got a stripe on the bonnet steering wheel and it's such a crazy car now and this car was actually going to get dumped but um scrapped sorry and i got given it and this car really did help my channel um before i end the video guys i have a for today and five shout outs for the next video that's going to be on saturday not going to tell you what it is but it's a review on a car and it's a mad car i love the car so first shout out to connie happy birthday it's her birthday um happy birthday hope you enjoyed yourself i'm going to put your instagram on screen as well go and follow her on it the next shout out is to josh um he's a great guy josh he has started his own channel now. It's all about Fortnite. So if you're into that stuff, I'll put it on the screen and you can go and subscribe to his channel. Right, the next person is Jamie. Now, Jamie, I'm sorry. I've been saying to you for ages, I'll shout you out. I'll shout have it a time. So I thought I should shout you out. I'm going to put your YouTube on screen now. It's Jamie FN, I think his uh, YouTube is. So go and follow him on that um, if you like Fortnite. So yeah. And the last shout out for today is sophie now sophie she gave me a great idea LEDs what do you... in the arch of the car it's a mad led mod it's crazy i'll put on screen the picture of the mod now i'll put your instagram on screen as well that's her instagram go and follow everyone on that if you want to and that was the end of the video guys it's been a madness it's been a bit of fun we've got a start stop button and i am so happy with it it's such a cool mod so as always guys, if you liked the video, like it, if you didn't, dislike and please subscribe. And thank you.